In this video, we will review how to make and receive calls using NEC's Univerge Blue desktop application. To begin, click on the calling tab on the left-hand side of the application. For this demonstration, we are on the favorites list. However, calls can be placed regardless of which list you currently have open, as seen at the top here. To place an internal call, simply hover your mouse over one of these user instances, and you can see that this phone icon pops up. Simply click that icon to place a call or you can hover over that person's profile image. When you hover over the image, you can either click the call button listed at the top, or you can click one of the call buttons listed to the right of that person's available number in order to contact that particular individual. There is a primary flag listed to one of the options associated with their available numbers. This flag lets you know which number you're dialing when you select the call button within this little pop-up, or when you click the calling icon from the main screen. You can hover over a profile image regardless of which page you're on to get all the same options as seen here. To make an external call, you can either select someone from the company contacts page or your personal contacts page and click the call button over that user's instance or profile image, or you can use the dial pad on the right hand side of the screen. To use the dial pad, you can simply use the mouse to click on the appropriate digits. You can use the keyboard to type in the number, or you can copy and paste any phone number configuration. To place a call, you can either click the green call button with your mouse or you can hit enter on the keyboard and that call will then be placed. After placing the call, you can see the call control features in the top left of the application. You can click the mute button to mute or unmute the call. You can also place the call on hold if you click what looks like the pause button. You'll notice now the call is on hold and the person on hold will be listening to hold music until you pick them back up. To take a call off hold, simply click the resume button. You can also select the keypad, which you will need to use if you ever dial out to another company that has a greeting with options listed, such as press 1 for this or press 2 for that. You can either use the mouse to select the appropriate option, or you can use the keyboard to type in the option you wish to select. There is also a flip button, which allows you to flip a call from one device to another. Let's say you want to flip the call to the app on your mobile device. You click this flip button, your mobile phone will ring, and the caller will be seamlessly transferred to your mobile device. The next button is the park button, which allows you to park a call to a specific parking slot within the system. To retrieve a park call, simply use the dial pad on the right hand side of the screen, type in the parking slot number, which is displayed once you park the call, for instance 980, and click the green call button to be connected to the caller. If you are parking a call for someone within your organization, you will need to let them know the park number in order for them to pick up that call. You can also transfer a call or set up a three-party conference call using these two buttons here. Let's look at placing a transfer first. To transfer a call, you will click the transfer button. Notice there are two ways to cancel this transfer, either by clicking the transfer button again or by coming to this cancel option here. To perform an internal transfer, you will simply hover over the user's instance and select the warm transfer, cold or blind transfer, or voicemail transfer options as seen here. To perform a transfer to an external number, you will use the keypad on the right hand side of the screen and enter the number you wish to transfer to. Once the number is in, you can come down to the warm or blind transfer options to initiate the transfer. By using the warm transfer option, you will be contacting the person you want to transfer to in order to let them know you have a specific caller on the line who needs to speak with them. The blind transfer just means you are immediately sending that caller to the other individual without warning. That call will then ring their device, and it's up to them to either accept, decline, or send to voicemail. For this demonstration, we will cancel this transfer and move on to see how we can set up a three-party conference call. If you click on the Add Call button, you'll have the same options to cancel as you did with the Transfer button. If you come down to an internal contact, you can see that the only option available to you is to place a phone call. Alternatively, you can use the keypad on the right to put in a phone number and place a call. Notice here that the first call has been placed on hold. If you click on the call currently on hold, you can go back to that individual to resume the call if you want. This will also allow you to toggle back and forth between calls if needed. If you want to merge that call instead, you will simply click the Merge Calls button to bring the conference call together. While on a call, you can navigate through the application, and regardless of which page or tab you click on, the call control feature will always stay at the top of the application until that call gets disconnected. If you initiate a transfer or three-party conference call while on any other tab, it will take you back to the last open page of your calling tab, which in this example is the favorites page. To hang up your call, simply click the red hang up button. The next thing we'll look at is how to receive a call using the application. When a call comes in, you will have two options to answer that call. The first will be a pop-up in the bottom right of your main monitor or display. 
The second will be on the top left of your Univerge Blue desktop application. You'll notice the pop-up will present itself in front of any other applications you may have open at the time to allow you easy access to answer, send a voicemail, or decline the call, even if your Univerge Blue application is minimized or hidden by another application. You can also choose those same options on the top left of the application if you happen to have it open when you receive a call. Once you accept the call, you'll notice that you are presented with all the same options as when we placed a call earlier in this video. This concludes the call control training. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it was beneficial to you. Orchestrating a Brighter World, NEC.